the Devils and the Irish right after these words. Play Duke and Blue and the Irish in yellow. No shot clock in the game. And David Rivers brings it in for Notre Dame. That's against Amaker. That's the tandem that Al McGuire finds most intriguing. Outside it's Ken Barlow. And the rebound to Dennis. Tough opening shot. You want to take the first shot within three feet of the basket to pick up a foul. Mark Allery, over a 60% shooter, and Dawkins can't hit. Rivers brings it down. Rivers, unkindly, rattles out, and Royal partially blocked Mahar to Dawkins. It's a high-scoring club. They're averaging over 80 points a game. That would put them in the top 15 in the nation. Our game starts out in the 1-2-2. Inside, and Dillis has it taken away. Stripped by Dolan. Gives you the man to man. Allen working on Barlow. Joe Price gets a pick. Ball just won't fall for either club. No score. Better than 20 seconds into the game. Basketball is not one from the outside. Go into the bucket. Go into the paint. Stops it down this thing because they're in the zone. Duke is playing man to man. The so one two two zone, it goes to two three. Now there's the two three zone right now. Gallery scores and he is fouled. It is a neutral site, but a Duke crowd here at the Meadowlands, and it's a rather interesting note that. 20% of the student body at Duke University down in Durham, North Carolina is from metropolitan New York. In fact, for the first time ever, they have more New York students there than those from North Carolina. Allery gives the Blue Devils a 3-0 lead. Pressure up court. Get the ball into David's hands. Okay, clear out now. Rivers from Jersey City, St. Anthony's High School, just a few miles away. Double stack down low, Dick. The Irish do not have the firepower of Duke, and they have to work for that in-close basket, the second chance basket. Royal sets up Golden, but a whistle before the play. A foul on Amaker of Duke. I thought the first two minutes of the game that the uh, fight and Irish were taking their shots too soon, trying to score from outside. We well, heard uh, Mike Krzyzewski in Packers yesterday. Would you say four passes before your shield, at least four. Did you ever have any rules about that? Just trying to get everyone to touch the ball? The early part of the game, you do that. You prefer even more than four passes. Just to get everyone warmed up, get their bodies dark and sweat. Nice pass inside of Dolan. Got a push off against Dolan. And that's his first foul. Officials today are Nikki Crowley, Tim Higgins, and then Katagowski. The three of them are from the ECAC. The assignment was made out of the ECAC. The three also worked for the Big East. And we'll see the Big East leader and the nation's number one team, St. John's, the Redmond Devourers. They host the Paul Blue Demons. The Blue Devils today, the Blue Demons tomorrow. There's a demon of a play. By Dawkins, five to nothing. He's up, Dawkins. Dawkins just has so much natural ability. When he gets in the air, he can shake and bake and keep his control and composure. Back comes Rivers to try to counter the rebound to Amaker. Five nothing, the Blue Devils lead. Amaker forcing the Billis there, and he is fouled. David Rivers, I believe, from behind. I don't think that if Tim Kempter is, is well, I don't think they can sit him on the bench too much longer. Digger's going to have to move him in there. They're going to have to punch it inside and get their muscle game going. Notre Dame is famous for its baseline muscle game. It's pretty difficult against the Blue Demons. They've got three great lifters themselves. And this is one of them, Jay Billis. They call him Arnold after Arnold Schwarzenegger after he worked on the weights and added 20 pounds this last year up to 235. Six nothing as Billis makes one out of two and the ball goes to Notre Dame. For the Irish, nearly three minutes without a point and they trail six to nothing. You gotta get off the snide. It's so important to get a point up there or two points anyway at all. From the foul line, off the backboard. 
Could be scribbled too soon. Marlowe draws Allery. Price with Dawkins. Royal against Phyllis. Into the tape. No drop for the Irish. Dawkins feeding Allery. And a nice control by Allery. Two Irish right there to try to steal it away. Now that's a 1-2-2 two, two zone. Now watch him go to 2-3. Now it's a 2-3 two, zone. He'll stay at a 2-3 zone now. See, 2-3 now. It starts out 1-2-2, two, two, then drops down to a 2-3. Go around the horn and try to kick it in. Dawkins sees the daylight. The basket is good and a foul on Dawkins for charging. The reason why the basket is good, he released the ball before he made contact. Now watch this. The ball must leave his hands before he makes contact. The ball is out of his hand. There he made the contact. Good call by the zebra. Dawkins now with four points and an eight-nothing deficit staring at Notre Dame. Notre Dame, open up and drive and get a foul. Get on the board. Let's make a game here. Well, all the top score for the Irish. Good defense by Allery to force him away. And the control by Dillis. And the third of Dawkins on the run. Oh, my. Ten to nothing. Give credit to Ed DeMeha. He put a defensive pick down there that allowed that layup. Digger Phelps is serious. He wants time out. And boy, that jaw is jutting. Richard Digger Phelps does not like what he sees. Watch the pick in the pain here. Dawkins keeps coming. Now you see the pick right there. See it? See the kid from Canada pick? 45 He's miles. He's a former hockey player, and he was like the boards himself there as Dawkins is. Duke head coach Mike Krzyzewski with that conversation as the Philly fanatic uh, has got everything electronically wired here today. That looks like a street person. <laughs> That's our antenna. The Irish trying to find some range, trailing 10 to nothing in the early going. Ken Kempton, number 41, there he is, into the lineup for the first time. Oh, up Rivers on the side, and David Rivers uh, appropriately gets the first goal for the Irish. He returns home. They're very fortunate only to be down eight points after four and a half minutes of the game. Inside the Phillips, blocked nicely by Barlow, but Phillips gets it back. Well, the two the score. Phyllis with his first basket. He gets it all alive. But the paint is too tight. Oh, he can't go. penetrate on it. Hampton had it knocked away by Amaker and recovered by Rivers. Way outside. That's the lot of his way. So with a 12 2 lead, Blue Devils on the attack. Dawkins with that six. Blocked nicely as Vos is in there. Gary Vos, a freshman. Number 54 in his back. He's from Corona, New York. Nice one in the broad. Barlow bangs in a 10 footer. 12 to 4 on Barlow's first two. They need that. Barlow is a streak shooter. Likes to pop him from the baseline about 17, 18 feet out. Now watch this again. It's a 1 2 2. It's developed into a 2 3. Once the ball goes into the corner. Uh, the high pass is too tall for Billis. And one of the few mistakes made by Shashevsky's Devils. Notre Dame on the attack. The problem we have here, I think that David Davis can take Amaker, but Notre Dame is setting up down low bit with a double stack. Watch the double stack offensively be set. Tim Kempton's a little slow getting down. Mahar is out and David Henderson, a junior from Drury, North Carolina, in for Duke. He's their outstanding sixth man. Kempton on Phyllis. Big Tim driving and trying to set up Barlow. Stolen away. Barlow gets it back. Gork and he's fouled. Looked to me like Dawkins reached in that time. Possible three-point play. Krzyzewski wanted three seconds. Excellent bounce pass here. Now watch Dawkins reach in. Right. Well, we're blocked out by the standards. But I think... Let's take the other angle. Right there. Dawkins catches his wrist. And Ken Barlow looking for his fifth point. 
And so with the Irish back in it, just a five-point lead for Duke of Charles to seven. Oh, looks like he's setting up a little trap at half court here, one, two, two. See if the trap comes at half court. Excellent break of the pressure. Almost a steal by Rivers. Two six scores, but really contested defensively. Inside Dallas. That was an unusual shot. He actually never left the floor as he was fouled, but continued with his motion toward the basket and has a chance for a three-point play. There was no quick reaction on this at all. If you notice their feet, no one gets up in the air. It looks like Tim gave a little push earlier. This was Both of these teams that play at home, they both really have relatively zoo snake pits. And uh, it's quite uh, quiet here today because of, uh, you can't get the rhythm going. There's not enough students and I don't think the bands are here. 15-7 the score. 13 minutes remain in the first half. And that's going to be five seconds against Rivers as an amateur's defense. And Rivers was not moving the ball uh, aggressively enough. Gallery back to Henderson. There's a good player, David Henderson, with an excellent story. The young guy from very small town he had to run five miles to the nearest basketball court when he was a kid just to work out. 17-7-2. Took a walk. No basket. The Irish guilty of another turnover. What's happening with the Irish in the offensive end? is that the strength and the size underneath is blocking up so much that the guards cannot penetrate. He has a tall team in there. It's Rivers and four other guys, six foot six or taller. Mallory, set up Phyllis, and back outside to Henderson. Dawkins. Mahar back in the game. Nineteen to seven. Mahar today will see another Canadian Olympian tomorrow, Bill Wellington of St. John's. Duke is completely unselfish. Many passes, but he never opens when he get the ball. Irish now trailed by a dozen, and another travel against Donald Royal. Digging, you need to regroup a little bit. There's too much indecision. 11.53 remaining in the half. None it's all Duke so far here at the Meadowlands with eight minutes gone, and Blue Devils missing only four shots while the Irish have made only three. Watch the passes by Duke. Crystal. Kick it back out. From the side, and that's the young freshman, Kevin Strickland. He, six comes, five. he comes out shooting. They yeah. say in his junior and senior year, he'll be the high scorer of the team. He was second in North Carolina last year in high school ball to uh, Ranzino Smith, who went to North Carolina. Tim Kempton powering inside. He can't get it to drop, and there's the rebound from Henderson. 21 to 7, a football score, and the turnover. Also in the lineup is Martin Nestle, a 7 2 center for Duke. Number 13, Barry Spencer in for the Irish. Well, goes out. Biggest searching, plenty of time left in the game. Being down 14 points, points is not a problem right now. He's just looking to get a run going, but David can't go any place. He's too blocked underneath. I received a couple of quick touchdowns and extra points though to get back in it. 21 to 7, 11 minutes for giving it a hand. Nice defense by Dorfman. Barlow, way out of And the foul is on Mahar of Duke. The Duke defense is forcing Notre Dame out of its shooting range. What they do now at Duke, normally Bobby Knight style is to force everyone into the middle where you get help. Now they fan it. They try to force you into the corners. They over favor them. Just the opposite. And that's what's happening with Notre Dame. You notice they're taking bad angle shots about 17 feet out. There's a five second violation against Notre Dame and they have made a multitude of errors here in this first half. Traveling and now a 
River is guilty for the second time, once on the dribble and now on the out of bounds play, and beating the five second clock. Dawkins, Hampton. Now you'll see Quicksilver. Here we go. Off the leg of Dolan. They strip Doc Rivers. Really, Nahar got his hand in there. And then it hit Dolan's leg, as you'll see here. And out of bounds off Notre Dame. 21 to 7. Meanwhile, Duke gets shot much closer in, although Henderson didn't make that one, and Rivers comes up with the ball. Inside to Kempton. Nice give and go to Dolan. And a chance for a three-point play. Excellent pass by Kempton that time. Dolan's first point. North Carolina does. Center to center. But this is center to forward. He tried to double team on Tim Kempton. He hit Dolan. Blue collar player, hard nose, lunch pail type player. The high school about 60 miles from here, Point Pleasant in St. Joseph's High School. Ooh, almost a chance for a four point play for the Irish. Knocked out of bounds with a foul against Duke. Foul on Strickland. His second, so Strickland comes out. And that's the fifth on two, so the two away from one one. Rivers inside, a soft kiss off the glass. So it is a four-point play for the Irish, and they certainly needed it. 21 to 11, Duke. Four points now for Rivers. Just punching the ball inside. Dawkins knocked away by Kempton. Good defense by the big redhead. Rivers lost it. Barlow controls, back to Rivers, open for the 15-footer, and it's 21-13, six and a half good points for the Irish. Tim Kempton is keeping the ball alive, it's his type of game, pushing and shoving underneath, space eaters. Mallory, oh he has a nice jumper, doesn't he? Big kid from Scottsdale, Arizona, was down there last week. Beautiful place. You know what the Duke fans, they got the Duke ball players go down and touch the floor with both their hands. They do that to remind them to play defense, to bend over, to be at 3 o'clock, not at 6 o'clock standing up straight. So every time you see a Duke player bend over and touch the floor, it's a, that he is thinking defense. It's down uh, really yeah. big in. It's a good thing that they uh, they all do it, and next time down you might catch one or two of them doing it. David Rivers at the line. <laughs> Averaging 14 points in his freshman year and from the line of 78% free throw shooter. From the one and one, 75. That was at Dawkins, his second. Good fans chanting air ball. We're going to see uh, uh, Cameron, uh, the Duke uh, student body, uh, well scored for the, the humor and uh, the extremes even to which uh, they've gone to entertain the opposition. We'll look forward to seeing how they treat North Carolina, the rival, in a couple of weeks here on NBC. It always seems to me the higher the academic uh, level of the student body, the lower the, uh, their uh, action on basketball. Oh, wait a minute now. <laughs> now, wait a minute. You're going to get us in trouble. And we're not even there in town. We're not even in Durham yet. I'll be down there in two weeks. Big ball game. Now, it's uh, Deuce from the line, and it's 23-15 with nine minutes left in the half. The 55, freshman Billy King in the lineup, and a turnover. Barlow to Spencer, and Hamaker takes it right back. Bad play by Barlow that time. Dylan scores, and that was a key turnover. Barlow stole the ball. Instead of giving the ball to David Gibbons, he turned around and gave it to Spencer. Always give the ball into the guy that can handle the ball. Always give it to your guard. Ten point lead for the Blue Devils. The first zone by the Blue Devils, 2-3. Rivers, 35 feet away, and a follow by Barlow. He must have heard me. Barlow, you made up for that bad pass, or a choice of a bad pass. He passed it to the wrong person. Always get it into the guard's hands on a fast break. Seven points for Barlow. Good by eight. 
Notre Dame playing man to man. Bahar. Rebound Kenton. He certainly has contributed since coming in. Out of words and defensively. Touch the ground. King. In the zone, 2-3. You've got to take that from the top of the key. You have to move in a little bit. There's a hole there between Amateur and King. Not too bad. Follow can shoot it, or Rivers can shoot it. Dolan throws it away to King. Amateur foul by Rivers. No basket. Let's go back to Barlow's timing as he jammed in the follow. Yeah, he come over everybody from the right side over there. Watch him come in the back. Some heavy shielding work done by Dolan inside. With 7.31 left in the first half, Duke 25, the Irish of Notre Dame, 17. Look, two by two. Let's go, we got it down under 10. Let's try to get it down by five. That's our next goal with 7.31 remaining in the half. And don't forget tomorrow, the ball against the top-rated St. John's Redmond. They won last night against Pittsburgh at home. The longest winning streak in major college ball. 16 in a row for Louis Karnasekis, Masters of Live Abduction. Wow, wow. The doctor would charge you $50 to cure that. They have three left-handers in the starting lineup. Any other team in the top 50 with three South Coast standards? Allery. Oh, he just doesn't miss. He's hitting over 60% on the year, and most of them from outside. 10-point lead for Duke. Team that Jacob wants to stop the turnovers. Yes, uh, like baseball, you can't give the other team a five out in it. There is a beach alive. Spencer, back out to Rivers, Dolan, Barlow. Line drive for Ken Barlow, who leads the Irish with no. Six forty-one left first half, and at halftime. Al McGuire, a most unique guest, the head basketball player. Plays a different kind of game. Allery has the touch. He has 12 to lead all scores. If the guy hits three, four in a row, you've got to get up on him. Kenton clears the Dolan. Rivers. And the Irish now with a hotter shoot in hand. Rivers has 10. Starting to get hot, starting to stroke it. Be interested. Let's see what they do this time down against Allery. They're in a man-to-man. -man. They got Dolan on Allery. Allery will come around the pick. Not yet. Allery go around the other way. Here he comes. Now he's looking to post up. There's Allery with Dolan on him. Unselfish. They watch him without, him. without the ball. Now he tries to gain a position. They were looking for Allery, but he didn't see the pass, and Dolan did for the Irish. Big opportunity for Notre Dame. Good pass inside to Spencer. And a foul. Kenton setting up nicely. In tight, the bounce pass, you can do nothing better. When it gets tight within three or four feet of the rim, bounce the ball. Now watch Tim Kenton bounce this ball to Spencer. Unbelievable. Here he comes. And the foul on Allery is first. Jeremy Spencer has his first point of the game. The Irish are without Scott Hicks and Dan Duff, two guards, both over the blue, then back in the medical center of Notre Dame. So Spencer hits a pair, and the Irish now have pulled to 29-23, a six-point lead for Duke. Duke once led by 14. And it seems like Duke is leading by 20, but it's down to six. Notre Dame just grinding it out. Anderson back in for Duke, so it's Allery, Mahar, Amateur, and Dawkins. Almost another turnover saved by Allery. And Rivers very nearly with a steal. The reason that didn't count is because Rivers touched the ball. Otherwise, it would have been back court. Ooh, Amateur had lost Rivers in the pick, but no one saw him underneath. Oh. Henderson from outside has four. He's right off the bench and always performs. There they are bending over, thinking defense. Now they went man to man. Got the goal. 
Anderson goes, oh, the steal by Dawkins and clear sailing. <laughs> He was the first alternate on our Olympic team. Yeah, Bobby Knight had him down to the last cut, and he was the 13th man. And his teammate, Allery, made the, the 32, then he got cut. There were 64 guys to try that. Ooh, that was another steal for Dawkins. Matt Beezer in the game for the first time for Notre Dame. Easy to spot with that fresh air cut. Flat touch. Not there. Beezer it is. Uh, the freshman from Southern California makes it 33-25. Move outside, Allard. He shoots from there. He hit the last three. Follows on him. What's an experience that young blue team? Henderson hits <laughs> again. The only senior is Maher that plays Maher that plays in any great amount. And Colgate again for Duke. Three and a half left in the first half. Henderson, nice little drive to set up Dolan. Dawkins the other way. And he's fouled from behind by Barlow. Barlow reached in. I think it was a poor foul. They're not in the one-on-one -one yet, so I believe Duke will take it out. The first to time out with three minutes and 16 seconds remaining in the first half here in the Meadowlands, where Duke of the ACC leads Notre Dame by 10. It's from the East, uh, Comagees and, and Patterson coming back home, and DePaul has a long bench, and you Bet your bottom dollar that Joey wants this game because they're starting to worry about the NCAA, as strange as that sounds. In the meantime, Louis Carnesecca, sweater and all, will be trying to make it 17 in a row and maintain his spot, number one in the nation. 3-0-4, left in this first half. Good for the ball and a 10-point advantage. Spreading out a little bit, trying to get in the individual talent of Dawkins against Fisher. He, he can handle it, but clear out the side. Henderson, he had the 10-footer and passed it by. Clear it out, Henderson, get out of there. Now take him, Dawkins. Take him to the laundry. Come on, Dawkins. Oh, come on. Take him once there. No shot clock, so they can spread it out like this, take all the time they want. There's an advantage for Duke this time because Duke does not always play with a shot clock. When they go to the NCAA, there will not be a shot clock. Good job by Fisher on the um, on the defensive end so far, but I still feel that Dawkins could take him any time he wants. Henderson against Royal. Nice that help from Barlow, and Beesert almost with a steal. Beesert's quicker than he looks. He looks more chunky. He looks like a, a, a tight end in football. We saw the shooting percentages, and Duke far superior. In fact, Duke, one of the top shooting teams in the entire country, over 54% for the year. The Irish have not shot well. They're under 46%. Pretty tough to go too far in the tournament if you're not at least around that 50% mark. Taking their time, you take them up on the bottom. Going to be back over a minute, coach. Yep. Well, they, the coach just wants to win the game. They're out here to entertain. I'm surprised that Dawkins doesn't take him. He has to get closer to him. Go along, fella! <laughs> Oh, you were right on. <laughs> Go on. See you later. Ten points for Dawkins. Oh, sure. The on the guard. That's what I think. Colds are used to having the baseline to help him out. Barlow tries to get it back and does for the Irish. So it's 37-27. Barlow, 11 for him. Change it around. Put Rivers on, uh, on Dawkins. Rivers is playing amateur on the other side of the court. Okay, here's Dawkins. These are giving him a little room now. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much room. How about 12 feet? That's a really outstanding basketball team. That's a charge. It's a charge. That's what they called it. Hey, Kay, what are you upset about, Kay? That was a charge. NC, no contest. First foul on Henderson. Now watch Dawkins, cat and mouse. Once, well, we'll give it around to Dawkins. Uh -oh. 
That's Henderson. That's the charge. Excuse me. It was an obvious charge. Now we go back to Dawkins. There he goes. Boy, just gliding not only around Beezer, but Kempton to score. The Irish in the final minute with a chance to get an under a 10-point deficit. Royal. Oh, my! Barlow! Nice move by Barlow. He comes from the perimeter the second time in the first half. He slices in there and dunks it, puts it back in. 13 points for Barlow to lead the Irish, and Barlow's been at most of the year. His average, 15 and a half a game. So he's had a big first half, and now it's Duke apparently going for the final shot. Yeah, they look for six seconds. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Digger wouldn't drop back into the zone in about 10 seconds. Because the next is one and one. They file two goals for one and one. Excellent foul shooting team. Valerie tried it well. Can't get his jumper away. So it's Henderson from the baseline. Oh, 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 oh what a tough shot. And the buzzer rivers is short. And that is the end of the first half. But I love to have a six man like Henderson. Mike Krzyzewski's Blue Devils leave at the intermission with a 10 point lead. Barlow got two on this one, but the sharpshooting Blue Devils, Henderson at the buzzer, makes it 39-29. We'll be right back. Marie Dawkins and Mahar, the same five that Krzyzewski started to open the game. Notre Dame has to get something out of Joseph Price the second half. Dawkins, oh, what a feed to Mahar, and he is fouled. A beautiful pass by Dawkins. Johnny, Johnny, what a pass. Where do you see this pass, gang? Here it comes. Oh, threading it through the defense, almost a no-look pass, and a chance for Mahar at a three-point play, and he converts it, so Duke starts the way they finish the first half. Again, the famous Notre Dame stack down low in the offense. David Rivers cannot go anywhere. Goes up, tipped in by Barry Spencer. Spencer's fourth point. Let's see what Notre Dame's in. Notre Dame's playing man to man. Switching down low with a combination down low. Gallery lost control of the ball with flipping off his fingertips. Kempton to Spencer. Calling out a set play. Rivers from Jersey City. Has to go in the back court to recover. It's been knocked back there by Duke. A lot of outstanding college basketball players from David Rivers' home area, Jersey City, including some that have gone to the ACC. Michael O'Corn of North Carolina. Spinarkle, Jim Spinarkle at Duke. One of my uh, starting five on my championship team in 1977, Jimmy Boyle. That's right. Mm. And currently, uh, Raphael up at, uh, Addison up at Syracuse. And Maddie Johnson at Marquette from the Jersey City area. And Ed Lawson, a fine player of Manhattan. Kempton will get two, looking for his first point, but that's misleading. He's contributed well on the boards and defensively. Mother is a detective now. I asked about her. She's uh, been promoted to a detective status in the Manhattan Police Department. It's kind of unusual to have a mother come home and have her wearing a pistol. He said, well, it's been 15 years. We're used to it. <laughs> Need this point real bad, the Irish, to get their motor going. Ten-point lead again, same as at halftime, 42-32 Duke. A minute and a half into the second half. Don't forget the third round of the Andy Williams Golf Classic out in the San Diego area, La Jolla, the Prado, along with playing boxing and karate championships. Big day on NBC and more tomorrow, St. John's. Challenged by DePaul, here comes Rivers, the big Tim Kempton. Big Tim got away with a walk that time, just before he took the shot. Coach K's up. Mention it to the official. Dawkins with a drive and Kempton with a rebound. Eight-point lead for Duke. David's going to shoot the Rapids. Oh, oh, nice steal by Allery as he takes it away from Barlow. Big steal. Look for Allery to take a shot from the outside anytime in the next couple of minutes. 
set him up gang. Down low, he'll pop and come around. Dawkins blocked from behind by Spencer. Out of bounds to Duke. Nice block, all leather off Spencer. Watch, he comes from behind, watch him jump. Gets his hand on the ball, forces it out, Duke out. Dawkins. Gillis. Oh, he was fouled. Remarkable thing, don't dig a remarkable thing about that foul. He grabbed him before, so he committed two fouls. Watch him grab him before the two shot foul. Watch your, at least Barlow, I think, or Spencer. Now watch the grab. One second now. Wait a second. There it is. There. <laughs> now he, then he came back again. You know, if you steal one marshmallow, you go back and steal the second one. <laughs> you eventually get caught. Phillips, a 67% free throw shooter. He had an interesting summer. He worked for Digger Phelps on ABC television during the Olympics coverage. And Digger, he used Phyllis as his statistician and runner. Phyllis wants to be a radio television announcer himself someday. He has the voice to fit the mold. Seven points for him. Not sure the booth would be big enough, though. Well, gaining that 20-some-odd pounds through weights, he worked out with his father last summer in California. His father used to be a commercial fisherman. Now he's in real estate. Ten-point Duke lead. Just three minutes played in the second half. That's the way defense should be played by Amateur. Rivers and Amateur got a piece of the ball. Out of bounds to Duke. That is defense. You always keep the back of your head between the man and the basket. And you bend over, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Watch it. Well, that's a little bit too late. That was not a good shot. Amicus getting frustrated. With the give Rivers credit, there's no place to go. The paint's all blocked up. Bahar gets the basket, and it appeared that uh, Amateur might have gotten away with a walk. Five points for Bahar. Three and a half minutes into the second half. Need a basket here to start and move away from you. Barlow gets it. Ken Barlow. That's his average, 15 points. Don't give him the ball 12, 14 feet out, and he got one of the best in Barlow. He could be a little bit more physical underneath, but that's not his style. He's a finesse player. Spencer on Dawkins. And good defense by the Irish to force the turnover. <laughs> Boys, Duke team is tough out of the ACC. They're 12-0 this year, looking for their 13th win against Notre Dame, and they have a 10-point advantage. Good D by Amica, good movement by Rivers. Hampton can't get the short jumper. Amica has a man open, Mahar. Good play, be a two-shot foul. He saved the basket. He didn't undercut the guy. Went right across the, uh, uh, the chest. You really should try to hold that man, outright hold him. Now watch the pass come down. Excellent pass. Now watch Price intentionally foul him. No chance for a possible three-point play. Now he has to bottom him out. And this is the first one. Mahar from St. Catharines, Ontario. Be mindful of Kenny Denard, a member of that uh, final team back in 78. In fact, he and Denard are very close friends. No surprise in the last 20 some odd years, Kenny Denard is the only ball player not to get a degree out of Duke. And, I, and, I, and he's an excellent student. He needs about four hours, but he just won't go get the four hours. He's playing ball over in uh, Rome, I heard, and they're trying to coax him to come back for a while and finish up his degree work. Uh, he will eventually, but I think it's kind of a badge of honor. I'm the only exception, you know, that type of thing, not to stick off my shoulder. Jay Billis ticketed with a foul away from the ball for Duke. For well, Billis, his first. But that's a nice statistic, Dick. It is. 20 some odd years, and everyone has got the sheepskin. Beasley. Replaces Price. The Irish. Down by 11 with nearly five minutes going in the second half. Beasley, stay down low and post up Dawkins this time. we we'll get two on. Give it to the Beast. Give it to him, huh? Rivers. And the rebound to Bellis. Same mismatch on either end. Dawkins has a mismatch on the offensive end. On the defensive end, he has a problem because he cannot cover. Should have kicked it inside to him that time. 
Man to man, MD. Amaker on Rivers. Nice rebound by Allen. Beasley for Notre Dame. Now let's see if Notre Dame sets up with Beasley taking Dawkins inside. Nope. Spencer in a crowd and Amaker bumped into him. Did you think so? Here comes instant offense. Yes, sir. Henderson, David Henderson comes in number 12. He's averaging 11 points a game as a non-starter. He's the third leading scorer for Duke and showed his rather extreme talents in that first half. Kempton pulling up for the 10-footer and the big red hat. Oh. <laughs> with five. Welcome back home to the East, Tim. Amateur now with three fouls. Rebound to Barlow. Now the Irish down by nine, and there's Amateur with a pick. Over Rivers, and he is fouled. Don't look that time. No whistles. Not a hard one. What a play by Amateur to take it right back. Yep. In your face basketball. Richly talented team for Duke for both ends of the court. Watch the steal here by Amherst, and then David Rivers trying to steal it back again. A little sloppy ball handling that time. Here's the steal. David's a little bit embarrassed. Didn't foul. Got himself a crier. That's a ball that bounces around and finally goes in. Foul on Henderson. A little bit too aggressive on Royal that time. Got himself caught on Royal's. Backside. If the uh, one that bounces around takes it as a fire, would that mean that most of you made were weepers or how to <laughs> That eight point average at St. John's. I just want the people out there to know what a crier was. It's one that bounces around and spins and hits the backboard and finally drops in. No one's to charge. <laughs> Six and a half minutes into the second half. Duke 49, Notre Dame 38. Easy, easy. Ooh, Kempton getting the ball in the crowd, but a good move away from Dillis, and he draws the foul. What happened that time, they got caught in the baseline in the switch, and Amaker had to pick up Tim Kempton. Now watch this, they get caught in the switch. Amaker comes off Visa. Watch it, here he comes, now watch it, now watch the switch. See Amaker on him, they get caught in the switch. He turns around, he gives a uh, swan song, broken wing type of shot, looking for the two-shot foul and maybe hoping the possibility of a three. Anytime you hear a whistle, shoot the ball, gang. Anytime you hear a whistle, because you'll always get two shots there. Especially if you can make a swan song broken wing. <laughs> swan song <laughs> broken <laughs> wing cry. <laughs> oh, cool. oh, now I understand. 49-39. <laughs> oh, you are something. I wish I had my ball players back. That was a great group, the guys at my test. <laughs> We had an understanding, just a complete understanding. I was the only coach in the country the team worried about. Usually the coach worries about the team. <laughs> man to man. 49-40, Duke. Mismatch here. So long. <laughs> Don't enjoy your running again. Mismatch. No contest. Curtains. That's all she wrote. If you can show this so quick. I mean, but it's not, it's not fair. I mean, the guy's not supposed to be. Come watch this. So long, fellas. See you later. How you doing? Shake hands. Give him change. <laughs> no bad for the foul before the shot. And Beezer. Yeah. Now, but down the other end, if they get Beezer the ball in the, in the post position, he'd be scoring over Dawkins and Amaker. Right Dawkins. Well, when he said Amaker. Yeah. There's another assist for Dawkins. Dawkins, not only the leading scorer, over 400 points. He has over 100 rebounds. He has over 100 assists. He's done that three straight years at Duke. I mean, he is a complete player. He's not just a scorer, right there in assists and rebounds. David Rivers back. Yeah, moving inside a little better for Sonny. Yeah, good, good body control. He didn't get into out of control where he charged. He got into the paint, got his balance, went up, and scored. Anderson and a foul on Beasley. No, they say it was Rivers reaching in on the backside. It seems that you can put a block on Henderson. That means that by the third time he touches the ball, he is going to shoot. 
foul is that on Beasley. So it was Rivers first, reaching in his third. Both teams have five fouls on them. The arrows favor Notre Dame, and we got 12-26 left, so we got a lifetime left there. Well, Dawkins will put some gray hair in your head, don't <laughs> He tried to keep that in and Mark Allery hits again. Allery with 14. Allery has those suitcase shoulders. Kempton left alone. And a crier for Kempton. Soft. Again, watch two all the time, forcing the, the offensive players to the corner, not to the middle. Henderson. Beezer. And Beezer. Good hustle, Mahar, but you're out of bounds. Yeah, the old hockey player said, I finally had to quit hockey. I was a centerman and thought I was going to be the next Wayne Gretzky, but I got so tall, my ankles wouldn't hold up all the height and weight. Well, he was icing the puck. It's like saying to the doctor, it's a good operation, doctor, but you cut off the wrong way. Watch him go. Dive, son. Ooh, but you're OB. Out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> 11 points. Now, see you think okay, are I the bet, best five I ever. think we'll have the Hagen baby before you give me the information. 53-44. <laughs> and Rivers trying to get two more for the Irish in a fine drive. No whistle. For Rivers, his 14th point. Uh, that should have been a foul for acting on the hard that time. Well, the Irish fans now starting to... Let their voices be heard as Henderson can hit. And Bellis gets it. And he fouled and he scored. Henderson got it. The girl said, I thought he might have jumped back in there that time. Let's take a look at it now. He gets the ball in the inside position right here. Now he comes down. Tim's giving him a little trouble. He gets the ball. Let's see if he jumps into him. Watch. See that? Close. Good call by the official. And Billis earning a chance at the three-point play, and the big guy from Rolling Hills, California has 10. He went to high school with Tracy Austin, the tennis star at Rolling Hills. Ten-point lead after Notre Dame had cut it down to seven. Billis makes the big play on the rebound. Okay, Dan. Spencer inside to Donald Royal. Barlow oh, with six of his 17 points on follows. What's happened, Notre Dame is not boxing him out because he's about 14 feet from the basket. No goodness. No basket before the shot. Let's follow knife in after this missed shot by, I think it's Royal underneath here. Now here he comes. Tim Kelly on the outside. No one boxes him out. And that is number three. Six points by him cutting in from 15 feet out. Excuse me, that shot was taken by that man there. shot. Second personal foul on Spencer, and at the line is Dawkins. Looking for his 11th point. Now, you can almost make a pretty uh, interesting left-handed uh, team, and we're going to see three of them at starters at St. John's tomorrow, including Chris Mullen. Now, that's not a bad start for backcourt, Dawkins and Mullen. Tomorrow we get to eat mulberries. Barry, the talented sophomore, junior college player of the year last year for St. John's, and Mullen, the Olympian, one of the great All-Americans and the top candidate for the Wooden Award. Spencer can't hit Mahar, rebounds. Here comes a great foot of Dawkins to Henderson. Good play by Kenton. He held him up. Now remember, he hit him kind of hard, and Henderson put him held him. But the crowd fooled a little bit, but no, he did a very sportsmanlike thing. It was. You know, watch him hold him. See, hold him so it doesn't go down. Here's another angle. Watch him hold him. See, he doesn't go down. That's the way to go. Thank you, sir. Don't hold me quite so tight. Maybe you bear hug him and choke him to death, but uh, you held him. You held him. He never gets two. He never touched the ground. David Henderson from a town, Drury, North Carolina, population about a thousand. Made himself a player, just worked and worked and worked at it. And what a sixth man he is, averaging 11 points a game. Well, he's from Manson County, and um, kind of tough background. And I asked how come he qualifies to get into Duke, and they 
they said he had the highest SATs in the history of the county. SATs mean college boys. To my friends that don't understand out there. Oh, good hands. There we go. He's dropping. He's hit to Henderson. Not too late. Numbers are, numbers are right. Numbers are against. He's set up. Gallery, that's his shot. Not to Dawkins. Gallery thought he'd been fouled after the shot. I don't think you want to get in a shooting contest with this Duke team. That's Doug Gillard, also with a great field goal percentage. Gallery misses two in a row, and that's almost headlong stop. Nine and a half minutes remaining. Irish down by 11. They cut it as close to seven. Meets enough to pay. Too hard off the glass. But he gets it back. And jump ball is the call. The arrow is favoring the Golden Dome. Nice hustle with Tempton. Matter of fact, I've watched him three times the third time this year, and I think this is his best game. Watch him stay with it. Now the Irish trigger it in, David Rivers. The Royal, he scores, and the basket is good, and the fouls against Duke. Notre Dame needed that, that was a big one. Keeps him in the ball game. These are the first points for Donald Royal. Don't like man to man out of bounds, I think they did, got him in trouble. To me, it looked like he charged into the man, but again, who am I? Dawkins with his third foul. Oh, you really are doing a lot of officiating today. Have you noticed that? But there's good officials out there. I'm not, I'm not knocking. I'm just giving people at home a chance to make a decision. 59-51. I might paint it a little bit. <laughs> good by eight. A lot of time. Nine, ten left. I'd lay off. Amateur here. I'll lay off the kid from Canada. He's not there to shoot. Lay up on Dawkins. Obviously, play Henderson. He wants to shoot. Dawkins wants to shoot. There's a steal for a moment, and was it saved? It was, it was good ball. I got to hurt a whistle there, but there was one. And Dukes Mahar makes it 61 51. Dukes seem to be very comfortable sitting on that 10 point lead. They've been in that position. 10, 15 times in the game. Rivers. Has to be a little disturbing to Notre Dame because Rivers shoots more than anyone else to be shooting under 40% for the year. He's just going to have to improve the shot selection. Well, with the offense they use, and now he can't penetrate. There's no room for him. Henderson does, and he's Last time down there, the ball did not go out of bounds, I guarantee it. If I could see right down the sideline where I am. See that? It will not go out of bounds. Good ball by the official. There he is, on the money. And Dawkins hustle saving the ball that led to a basket. And now Henderson, already over his average, looking for his 13th point. Well, he doesn't do real well to shoot free throws, 62%. Notre Dame made a move, but the Blue Devils come right back. And Notre Dame had it down to seven. And now it's set to 13 for the Blue Devils. And any moment now, with eight minutes left, Tom <laughs> McGuire is going to reveal, get the presses ready, his all-time Duke team. Another steal, it's Phyllis who comes up with a new score. I think Notre Dame needs a timeout, needs to regroup and make one late run. They got time for it, but clock is starting to come to enemy now. 7.30 left. Mahar foul by Royal. Well, I know one guy that will be on that all-time Duke team, but his initials are DG. I said from 1960, not only the talk DG was before that. The last 25 years. All right, Dick Quote will not make it, but certainly as the fact that he uh, had his uniform retired, only played two years, and still one of the greatest scorers in the history of the university. So you didn't want to go back that far now, do you? Well, not really. Okay, so 25 years. From 1960 to now. 
Jahar now with a dozen points. Timeout. Seven minutes and 31 seconds remaining, and the Blue Devils have opened their biggest lead of the game, 66-51. Aaron? Yeah. Oh, it was really tough. You must have stayed up late last night studying for that trip. It, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. 66-51 the score. And out of bounds to Notre Dame. This is an outstanding good team, we're saying. And obviously, they have shot well most of this year. Only four defeats all within the Atlantic Coast Conference for Mike Krzyzewski. And you won't give Notre Dame any chippy baskets. Well, there's a 20-footer, and that's hard earned. Yeah, it's, it's hard to win from that far out. They constantly are keeping the middle locked up. 19 for Barlow to lead all scores. I, I don't like to say something here, but uh, in one moment, maybe, they can go with me. Henderson misses inside. I meant that the mismatch on Dawkins. Does have a nice touch for a 6'9 man, doesn't he? Bang, bang. But I never like guys 6'9 having a good touch. I always like my centers, my big men, not to be able to shoot from 12 feet out. Shoot from 4 feet in. The run has to come down. Should have been a foul. It was on Barlow. Yeah. It was a touch foul. I think that uh, Allery kind of um, picked up a second Emmy. Biggerfeld, now 43. His parents are here today down from upstate New York, Beacon, New York. Richard and Margaret here to cheer their son. This is Nigger coming home. Ryder College graduate in 1963. Mark Allery. Well, he's just all net dick. Don't be proud of it. Of the year in the state of Arizona in the Valley of the Sun back in 1982. Right. East Jordan, North Carolina. I'm glad to have him. Not only all ACC, he was an all hunter player in the ACC. Well, you know, at down to supposedly Notre Dame would do. They said that many of these athletes recruited heavily by both schools. Royal with a reach in foul before the shot. Yeah, Mayhart turned around. He lost him defensively and hit him. The Maple Leaf is uh, <laughs> running it on his forehead. He's a tough competitor. In fact, he's uh, Mahar, who's a senior. He, he's actually thinking about maybe if he stays for a fifth year, going after the football team as a tight end. At the line, Donald Royal. Royal who ran into a teammate and uh, thought he'd broken his nose earlier this week and was wearing a guard yesterday in practice. Has only three points. Good rebound by Dillon. Now his work on the boards has been instrumental in this Duke lead. Ball out of bounds to Notre Dame. The ref on top of the call was blinded. So he had to take the ref's call from the far side. Six minutes, 16 seconds left. The Irish facing a 12 point deficit as Rivers goes. Underneath the foul is on home. Duke apparently. I missed it too. It might have been on um, Allery. Yeah. Allery's second. Both teams are in the bonus. Notre Dame needs a run down 12, but not out of it. They're not trying to hold on to the game, but obviously with that much time left, six minutes there. They still got an excellent opportunity. Continues his fine shooting. Junior from Cathedral High School, Indianapolis. Their nickname, the Irish. He's been able to go by the same moniker in high school and now in college. And he's really made those nets sing, hasn't he? All right, pressure up for the traps. The guards are too good. I'm not sure. The off guard doesn't have that lightning speed, but in this case, uh, Dawkins just as quick as Amaker, isn't it? Well, see, the first year, Dawkins was the number one guard. Then when Amaker came along last year, it, it released Dawkins, allowed him to be more an offensive weapon. Here, here we go, no shot clock, they spread it out a little bit to play higher, but nobody in the baseline. Notice no one's on the baseline. Amaker free for the 12-footer. Well, coach. 
Mr. Cade knows what he's doing. And he played under Bobby Knight at Army and then worked as an assistant with Knight at Indiana year and then was the head coach driver himself before finally being hired by Duke University. Rivers. Royal. Battle Royal. Nice move. He showed me some athletic ability there. Remind me of the um, Cape Canaveral, that guy at, at, at Maryland. Um, uh, Len Bias? Bias, yeah. Uh, you know, it's almost like a pro can do. A pro can go one-on-one, -on -one, then all of a sudden climb, launch. Very good. Down the line a little bit raw, maybe it'd be um, uh, a keeper. You know, he's a good play now, but it's going to be a real quality play. But he has good uh, quickness off his feet. He's only 18 years old as a sophomore. He stays at five points on the game, and, well, Duke leads by 10 again. He was a football player under the red shirt in the high school. That's not a nice statement, but it's, it's a true statement, especially in the state of Texas. Yeah, there's some disadvantage here. 18 years old already into your sophomore year. I mean, just that, he's got to be trying to get his team better physically. 4.45 left, and Duke is very patient. Here's the mismatch. Give me a lot of room, but... Ten points for it. Uh, they just can't let this go. Here goes the missile. And Dawkins, what a move behind the back. Allery, knocked out of bounds, and a foul is called on uh, Notre Dame. Bigger one is Batley. Notre Dame foul, Notre Dame Batley. He's with a foul. Now he has one. Krzyzewski, his mother lives in Chicago, native of Chicago, and when Bobby Knight comes to town in Indiana and in Northwestern, and she brings some cookies in exchange for a ticket to the game. Well, he, um, after he graduated from West Point, he put five years in the service. I think that's part of the um, obligation, whether it's the academy or an actress, and uh, he was a captain. Mallory, and it is out. 17 a game. He goes 17 today and very quietly a solid player. As the junior figures to be right there when they name the all Panthers team again in the ACC. Barlow. Out to Amaker. Oh, a great <laughs> steal by Rivers as Dawkins saw it too the other way. And Dawkins with a foul reaching in. Didn't think so. Close call, but the ref was right on top of the play. That was quickness on quickness. Watch David Rivers steal the ball on a breakaway that Dawkins would have got it, would have been a 360 dunk. Now Dawkins comes back. Now let's see if he reaches in. Looked to me like he did reach in. <laughs> and David reached in again on Amica. The toughest thing that has happened to him at Notre Dame is this weekend, getting tickets for all of his family for this game. He's from a family of 13 here in Jersey City. He's three for three from the line and now looking for his 16th point. It's hard to imagine that he's a freshman. You look at him and you say, this is a junior. Mm -hmm. There's a possibility that next year Notre Dame could reach into the top 20. Everyone's back and they can supplement one or two spots with freshmen. Let me come. I think it's good. He's already had two or three uh, outstanding high school players sign up for next year. Dawkins to Henderson. And he draws the foul. Dawkins on this move here, he blew by. And then Henderson tried to do a little bit too much with his body. And that's how come he didn't get a good shot up there. But he got foul. Royals third foul. Clock stop just under four minutes. And at the line, David Henderson. Uh, not only did he run five miles just to work out in basketball, he drove the school bus after school to help support things. He's a junior. And he uh, describes himself as country strong. He's the only one. You don't have any facial hair. If you'll notice on his face, he, uh, he can't shave. And that's why uh, he has some type of irritation. And that's why it looks like he has a beard. Ooh. That was a brick that went in. I'm out. 
Duke continues to lead by 10 or more, and we have 3.58 remaining here in the Meadowlands. Now, in major magazines, see the Renault Jeep Buyer's Challenge Guide. Read the guide before you decide. Compare Renault. I never dreamed I'd join the Army, but they gave me the opportunity of a lifetime. One, two, one. home with the flu. What they need is a turnover. They'll try very hard. The only chance they got is to turn the ball over now. They'll start using the clock. Keep the pressure up court as hard as they can. Obviously, Dawkins breaks it. I'm going to keep it out of Annika and Dawkins' hands if you can, you know the game. I would foul the man right now. 21, I go foul. Now you can't let the clock disappear here, fellas. You're down eight. And the clock stopped on the foul by Royal at the 59 second mark, and that should be all for Donald Royal, his fifth. Now, who do you foul? 62% for Henderson, 67 for Billis, the man you said foul, and then after that, uh, it's tough sledding. I, I would go in this situation the price. Has, has Bigger made a move yet? No. Unless he only has 30 seconds to make a move. Let's see who he puts in. He's looking over the bench. Touch price. Bigger. Uh, oh, you're right again. Boy, Bigger. Metal to left. Bill. You've had, Double you've had a take it. in that regard. You know, that's a, in fact, I can see now while the winners are building that you might return to country. You've got a lot of, you've got right out of luck. Oh, return to coaching, wow. Dawkins, looking for his 13th. Johnny Dawkins from Mackin High School in Washington, D.C. Mackin produced Austin Carr and Beth Williams for Notre Dame. down by 10. Barlow having his best scoring day ever with the Irish, not that time, and Amaker, the smallest blue devil on the court, has the rebound. All alone is Mahad. Nice turnaround jumper. That's his shot. Got to give credit to Amaker. Amaker took David Rivers out of the game. And the Duke with such good balance, uh, four or five men in double figures. Dawkins, a blind pass to Amaker, and it's saved by Price. The body checks Amaker into the board. <laughs> okay, don't get so upset. These guys are athletes. They're used to getting bumped around. <laughs> Faust has liked this move. Jerry Faust has loved this move. Well, yeah. Didn't follow through on it, sorry. Henderson is fouled by Price. All right, now watch Price in this cross-body block. There you go. Amaker goes into a tailspin, does a flip. Now watch Coach K come running over. Where are you, K? So the balance for Krzyzewski. Mallory with 17, Henderson 16, Mahar 14, Dawkins 14, Billis 10, five been in double figures, and you know, they just how do you defense that Blue Devil team? What you're talking here, Dick, that Duke is a better ball club than Notre Dame. Notre Dame obviously comes in positive thinking. Dick is a positive thinker. They want to they win, but they know everything has to click in. And with the two kids staying at home, Duck and Hicks, they couldn't put pressure up court. Dawkins and Amaker are just too tough. They might be the best set of guards, maybe, in Division One.